Hello children. So today we are going to study the population density and percentage frequency of different plant species of a given area. So for this purpose we have drawn quadrants. Can you observe first, second, third, fourth and the fifth one is in the center. So four towards the corners. So here the species A it has been marked in the form of circles and species B in the form of triangle and the species C in the form of square and species D in the form of uh, that is star shaped structure. So here we, can, we have to count for example first quadrant towards the left side no top one can you observe so species A circle 2 and the species B is of 3. So in that way you have to count the number of species in all the five quadrants then you have to plot that in the table observation table given then later the formula given to be followed for population density total number of individuals in all quadrants studied divided by total number of quadrants studied so then you will get for percentage frequency total number of quadrants in which species occurred divided by total number of quadrants studied multiplied by 100. If you multiply it by 100, you will get the percentage frequency. So, in that way, the population density and the population frequency can be calculated. So, in the observation table given, if you count and put the number of species, then easily we can do the calculation. So, for this purpose, let us go through the observation table. As you know, we studied four species, species A, B, C and D. Let us discuss regarding species A. Species A, we have studied in the first quadrant as 2 and we counted in second quadrant 1 and in third quadrant 4 and fourth quadrant nothing was observed. That's why we put 0 and fifth quadrant 1. Then we have to total up all number. 2 plus 1 plus 4 plus 0 plus 1 equal to 8. So, total number of individuals in all quadrants studied, no, when you observe, total number is 8. The next one, the total quadrants in which the species occurred. So, only it occurred in first quadrant, second quadrant, third quadrant and fifth. So, nothing was observed in fourth. So, that's why it was observed only in four quadrants. That's why we have put four. And total number of quadrants we studied overall 5 quadrants. For all species, we study 5 quadrants. Among 5, only 4, only the A species occurred. So, then the population density that is N by B. So, N by B that is 8 by 5. So, when you divide, you will get 1.6. For frequency, A by B multiplied by 100. So, for that, so A is 4. B is 5. 4 divided by 5 multiplied by 100 you will get 80. So in that way we have to calculate for all species. Species B, species C and species D. So when you observe, when you calculate ultimately finally you can come to the conclusion. So that is the species A no. So it has 80% frequency. And species D is also having 80% frequency. That's why A and D it is more frequency showing more population frequency. Then when you see the population density the species A is more dense that is 1.6. Next to that that is B and C. Then finally the species D that is of 0.8 only. So like that we can come to the conclusion. So by means of this method easily we can find out population density and population frequency. Hope children you must have understood. So thank you. We will meet in the next class.